You don't require teachers for information. Huh? Yes, knowledge. Teachers may be required. So what is the difference between information and knowledge? Information is available, but the teacher has to translate that into knowledge. And she has to also pull that knowledge, extend that also. Otherwise, the teachers are irrelevant if it is only an information given. Now the facilitator mode, more than even doing that, the facilitators are supposed to basically create an atmosphere of learning. That is what we are required. Are you getting it? They are basically facilitated because learning will take place. Learning will take place if the teacher is creating mahol. So facilitator ka bhi role ho gaya, mahol create karna. Mahol create karna. Physical, psychological, and probably, I mean, encouraging, nudging the child a little bit, not really giving them information. We are now becoming more ambitious. Our ambition Now we are saying, facilitator we need, a teacher has to be a coach. Now we Coach ka matlab kya hua? Not only this facilitating thing, but the teacher has to know. What does a coach do? A coach is a person who identifies who can be a goalkeeper, who can be a forward. Sabko pagadke goalkeeper nahi banati. So like socialism, we say, what is socialism say? From everyone according to their ability, but to everyone according to his needs. Like socialism, like coaching. So the teacher, the classroom, the general education teacher also, now feels, now we feel, has to understand her child so well. Am unse kya expect kar sakte hai? Am usko kya chahi hai? To pachis bachcha hai, pachas bachche hai. It's very difficult, you may say. But our expectation has become now, the teacher should know, and we are going to the extent of saying, there should be a separate IEP. What is an IEP? Individualized. <laughs> education plan for every child. I mean, many so-called elite schools are trying their level best now to do that. And we are going still further. You may say, Dr. Sahib, aap kuch rukoge, nahi rukoge. We are further now saying a teacher has to be something higher than this. Now we are wanting a teacher to be a mentor. Mentor. You know, I don't know whether you, well, my biodata parte to aap log gyan dete to nahi, mujhe pata hai. Phir bhi, I work for the UGC, I mean, and in higher education, we used to only have lecturers. You remember? Aya, cut, 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 na gara, only lecturing, and they were called lecturers also. We don't call them lecturers anymore. I hope you agree with me. Now we call them assistant professors, that is the beginning qualification. But now the government has asked us, people like Devindrans and the experts, to make the university professors also mentors. They cannot just escape by just speaking in the class. They have a like to mentor children. So what are we expecting now? Your teachers also? They will be mentors for at least few students. I mean not for the whole class. So what will be the difference between a mentor and a coach? Coach will coach for a specific thing. Would you agree? Coach will coach for football, maybe mathematics, maybe English. But the mentor, we expect, will have to look after the child as a whole. I mean, many schools, I mean, I don't want to take any names, have listened. I mean, and I have suggested. Um, the so-called weak students in the school, so-called weak. What I mean, mentorship started. Mentorship started. And a teacher became a mentor for 4-5 children. What does that mentor do? All the children will not only study their subject. I mean, if there is a problem in math, this mentor is an English teacher. वो मैथ टीचर का पीछे पड़ जाते हैं 
मैं थोड़ा मेरे बच्चे को हेल्प कर लो मेरे इसको ये कर लो ऐसा पीछे पड़ के सो नाउ ए स्टेज इज कम ए टीचर कैनोट सर्वाइव एस ए लेक्चरिंग टीचर नॉट इवन फेसिलिटेटिंग टीचर नॉट इवन कोचिंग टीचर बट ए मैन So the expectation from the teachers are going higher and higher. 